Today we're going to be constructing our confidence interval for our population mu when the standard deviation is unknown. So therefore we're going to be using the t test or t distribution in finding our confidence interval. So in this particular uh, confidence interval, we're supposed to uh, use the eight samples that we have right here, and we need to construct and interpret the 95% confidence interval for the mean amount of vitamin C, which is the mu, and the CSB from the production run. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify our population of interest or parameter of interest. So in this case, So this is what we are trying to estimate, which is our mu, and it will be found here in our word problem. Now after establishing our parameter, now we can start constructing or verifying our three conditions, which is normality, independence, and uh, randomness. So for our conditions. We know that it's random because according to this, it came from a random sample of size 8 from one production run. And our independence, we know it's also satisfied because our population will be... So we know that our population size is greater than or equal to 80. So that's also satisfied. And now for our normality condition, since there's no mention about the shape of our population, we're going to check the um, normality of our sample using our TI-84. So stat, edit, and on list one, we'll, we're going to put 26, 31, 23, 22, 11, 14, 31. I need another one, 26, 31, 23, 22, 11, 14, 31, and 22. So now we have our eight sample, and using our stat plot, turn it on, and go at the very end for the standard normal plot. And we need to zoom nine it. So we have our graph, or the standard normal plot, and here there's no skewness or outliers in our eight sample so now we can trust our computation or use of the t distribution to compute for the confidence interval for our sample of eight so now that all three conditions were satisfied we can now construct our confidence interval and find the estimated population mu based on our procedure. So the calculation will be based on the formula for x bar plus or minus t star times sx all over the square root of n. So this is the formula that we're going to be using. So let's find our x bar and sx using our calculator. Stat, go to one variable stats, go to list one, and it will give us the summary for our list. So mean is 22.5. And standard deviation, which is SX in our calculator, is 
we also know our sample size which is 8 and since we're using the t distribution we're going to need our degrees of freedom which is 7 so our confidence level is 95 percent so our t star will be 1 minus 0.95 all over 2 which will give us using our calculator 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2 is point, point zero 0.025 so we're going to find our t star at point zero 0.025 and that will give us go to uh, bars second function bars for distribution and go to inverse t with an area of 0 0.025 and degrees of freedom of 7 because degrees of freedom is n minus 1 is going to give us 2.365 so these are the numbers that we're going to be using in finding our confidence interval which is 22.5 plus or minus the critical value we always use the positive value of the critical value even though the calculator is going to give us the negative value sx is 7.19 divided by the square root of 8 and with our calculator I already have the um, computation here so we'll have uh, um, 22.5 plus or minus the margin of error of 6.01 so I already did this part in my calculator a while ago so our confidence interval will be at 16.49 and 28. 51 using our calculator and to illustrate this confidence interval using a normal curve since we know that the sample is normal our population parameter will be in between 16.49 and 28.51 so mu is somewhere here at 0.95 percent confidence I mean not point so just 95 percent confidence level and uh, that will be our illustration and to uh, complete our work let's write the conclusion for the confidence interval so to conclude So this is how we produce our calculation for confidence interval um, for t-distribution.